Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I recently got a request to create a double pocket folder for the Kaye size. It is 5 by 8.25 inches, 5 inches wide, 8 and 1 quarter inches tall. So I created a template, and like with the standard size traveler's notebook, it, you need the full length of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper so it's not possible to print that for the manual version on regular 8.5 by 11 paper you will need 8.5 by 14 paper and in another video I actually show you how to do that so I will link that video below so that you can see how to do that and also if you don't have a scoreboard you can use a stylus or a bone folder or something else that you have on hand to do your scoring with a paper trimmer and I also uh, show that in another video and I will link that information below as well before this video I'm going to go ahead and use my scoreboard I've already cut out the two pieces this is the actual folder outside part and this is the inside that makes the the extra pocket on the inside. Now I chose to use the same um, paper for this uh, project. Now my um, templates for the folders have half inch tabs on the side so automatically I know that I need to go ahead and score the half inch tabs. So I'm going to do my scoring first. So score it a half an inch. Then I'm going to flip this around because I'm better at scoring on the left hand side than the right hand side. And go ahead and score at one half inch. Then we need to score in the middle and in this case the middle is five and a half inches. That's five inches on each side plus a half an inch and a half an inch. That's a whole inch so it's five and a half inches that's your center and if you're not sure you can use this little triangle area here to determine where your center is okay so we've scored the two half inch flaps we scored in the center at five and a half now we're going to score the body for the body and the flat pockets at the bottom and for that we're going to score at eight and a quarter because our folder is going to be eight and a quarter inches tall so I'm just going to score there okay for this inside piece I don't score it because it's slightly smaller than the 10 inches wide and it's easier just to fold it in half and score so I go ahead and fold this in half then I just put a small crease at the bottom corner of my fold, make sure everything is lined up. Then I take my score tool or my bone folder and go up and make my crease. And that gives you a nice clean crease just as if you did a score. So, got a nice crisp crease. So now I'm going to go ahead and do all my folding for the folder and do my burnishing. And the burnishing really helps give you that crisp crease and make sure everything is nice, a nice clean fold. And just in case anyone was wondering, this paper is from the Pretty Petals cardstock paper pad from the Paper Studio. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. So go ahead and fold these up and then I'm going to do my half fold. Make sure that my edges all line up before I burnish it. Make sure everything is everything. Then I'm just going to set my inside pocket on under the flaps some reason that was sticking line everything up nice and neat my flaps up 
So these flaps, once you put your your large pocket space in, then these flaps come up. They will make a pocket as well. And these tabs fold over like so to actually create that pocket and hold your big pockets in place. Now I'm going to use a wet glue. This is Art Glitter Glue in a fine tip applicator. The link to the glue is in the description box below and I will ma uh, make sure to in also include the link to the applicator. So with the Art Glitter Glue you only need a little. It's pretty strong and dries quick. So I'm just going to apply my glue. These are really easy and quick to put together. If you have the template, it's a little, I guess I could pop that on there. It's a little more work if you don't have a template. The template really makes it easy and it goes fast. So just make sure I got everything lined up the way it should be. And the thing I like about this Art Glitter Glue, if you do have any that seeps out, it doesn't dry shiny. So, you know, it's not noticeable that you have seepage. It just dries a matte color. You can't even really see it. So, But again, you only need a little. It dries pretty quick, as you can see. And it's pretty strong. So now that I've got everything put together, let's close up the glue and burnish everything really well. Make sure I get that glue down in there. Okay, and there you have it. So this size is the same size that of the uh, May Designs notebooks. So, for example, this is the May Designs. Um, I haven't even opened it yet. This is the May Designs Traveler's Notebook that was available. I don't know if they're still available in Target. Okay. So, let's take one out. So, see here, these are basically the same size but this will fit perfectly into the May Designs Traveler's Notebook. Now what you can do is what I usually do is You could round the corners, the top corners, if you choose to. I'm, I won't do that on this one. But what I will do is cut a notch or punch a notch in the center of our fold here. This is why I took this off of my other um, So you just kind of line that up in the center. It's hard to see. Uh, with this and punch it and that get that takes some of the pressure off of the paper and let the van sit down and rest in that little opening so you can do that on the top and the bottom you don't have to do this it just kind of helps with the bands how the bands sit on the paper okay so Put this in here and see how that sits down in there nicely like that. And oops, put my notebook back in here. And voila, there you have a pocket folder that will fit in the May Designs Target Notebooks. So I guess I can go ahead and take this off because I am keeping it, so. <laughs> take off the packing. Okay.
So if you have any questions, please let me know. I will leave the link to the template in my shop at scrapcraftastic.com. Again, if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.